everyone, my name is Riley K. Jones. I'm a writer, teacher, and author tuber. And today we're going to talk a little bit about just a little bit of an update, a little bit more chatty type of video to kind of check in on some life goals as well as Camp NaNoWriMo. So I wanted to just like kind of pop in and just have a little more chatty video about some of the goals that I've been doing. We are moving into April, which means we are a officially a fourth of the way done through 2022 which is insane to think about like it feels like it's been two weeks but it's been a quarter of the year which is insane so I want to check in about some of my goals for 2020 two and how I am I doing in those goals so firstly I wanted to update you on the project loss so so far I'm still querying project loss I have had some interaction but I am going to be making a video about my querying journey so stay tuned for that I also wanted to talk a bit about my book update so I believe in my 2022 goals video I think I said I wanted to read 20 books from for 2022 I can't remember if that was my like realistic goal I know I was kind of like debating between 20 or 22 books and I started the year off the reading high I read a lot of books between January and March so be on the lookout for a March update video on the books that I've read and I have read a 10 books already this year so that's like almost halfway through my goal and we're only a quarter of the way through that was a bit strategic because i know that coming up in the summer we are planning on moving and that's gonna get a bit chaotic so i have a feeling that my reading slump will probably hit june july um and then probably ramp up again in august i also just kind of want to talk about to like my writing like goals um so I thought that I would have more words done for 2022 and so far I've been mostly I have been reading a lot which is good like good writers need to be reading good books so I've been reading books and learning from the writing styles of other people to help me craft better stories and then I've been working very hard on querying however I haven't really done a ton on the next book. I've done a lot of research and like percolating of ideas, which then leads me to then Camp NaNoWriMo. Am I gonna do Camp NaNoWriMo? I really need to do Camp NaNoWriMo, like for April, I really need to do it. One of the reasons why Project Lost even got written and finished was because of Camp NaNoWriMo. So I know that April is going to be my month where I need to kick it into gear and really accomplish this project. So what project am I going to be writing for Camp NaNoWriMo? Ooh. So this has been my interesting problem. I have two boarding school mystery ideas. And I'm not sure which one is the one to write. So the first one was an older idea that I still love, but it's an idea that I was working on last year, actually last camp and I was working on it. And I just, I love it, but at the same time, I wonder if it's good enough. And I don't want to talk too much about the actual idea online. Um, it's something that I'm kind of wrestling with and just talking to trusted people about um so I'm not going to say too much more than the fact that it's a boarding school mystery and that it is like in the dark academia vibe. The other book idea that I have is also a boarding school mystery in the dark academia vibe. They're very different in the application of them. One I'm very excited to write. I'm more excited to write the second one than I am the first one. However, the first one is good. I don't think it's bad. I have more things fleshed out in that book, in that world, than I do in this other world. So this might be a little bit crazy, but I think I'm going to try to write two books at the same time.
yeah i'm crazy but both ideas i think are very good and so i want to at least develop the second idea even if i'm writing the first boarding school mystery i want to start to develop and explore the world so it leads me to like how in the world am i going to accomplish this this is my idea i'm going to for Camp Nanarimo be writing since especially because Camp Nanarimo you can choose the word count goal that you want. I'm still unsure on how many words I want to write. I do better with writing scenes than I do with word count goals. So I'm gonna just say a general 15,000 words I would like to write for this first uh, Dark Academia book. But I want to take select days to dedicate writing and fleshing out the other worlds for this other second book. I think both are really fun ideas. Because the problem with the YA market right now is it's oversaturated. There's so many books being published, so it's harder to get in and then to the thriller market has kind of also start to boom after Karen McManus's books really took off. That market has boomed. I don't think it's ever going to go away, but it's just high, it's more competitive market now for selling a thriller book. Thriller has always been like a subgenre of YA for a while. Like some of the books that I read, most of the books that I read that were YA were thriller so i know like it's it's always gonna be here like mystery and thriller is always gonna be here but it is becoming oversaturated and highly competitive so that's where i'm like which idea is better is a publisher going to like both ideas or only gonna want one and that to me is a bit scary um because both of them are good ideas and i like both of them and i like, and I, I do agree with the philosophy that you need to write what you love, write what you want. But at the same time, like, if you're going to be traditionally published, there is a market, there is competition, there is um, all of that. Like, it's basically who can do it the best. So like, that's, that's kind of hard. And I think that's intimidating me a little bit. But I don't think it will stop me. I've come so far in my writing in this journey that I'm not gonna just like call it quits. Like I'm gonna keep going. So that's my plan for Camp Anarimo is just to kind of, you know, focus on the first one and then on the side kind of start building the world up a bit more because I have like some of the backstory, but I don't have the mystery itself figured out for the second one. But I do have the mystery figured out for the first one. It's just actually writing the thing. So I'm going to plan on writing the thing and then seeing how it translates. And yeah, so I will try to do some vlogs this quarter, more vlogs this quarter, because I kind of stopped with the vlogs and I also had quite a few very busy weeks at school because I'm, I'm a teacher if you're new to this channel, hi. Um, so I've been doing a lot of work at school in that kind of eat into the video time. So I'm gonna try to be more consistent with videos and also incorporating some more vlogs, specifically with Camp NaNoWriMo with some updates and some vlogs in the near future. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, are you guys participating in Camp NaNoWriMo? Have you ever done a Camp NaNoWriMo or even a NaNoWriMo? Let me know in the comments down below what you are going to do and have you ever been in a predicament where you had two really great ideas and you didn't know which one to do let me know in the comments down below if you like this video please make sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up it lets me know that you like videos like this one and if you haven't already click subscribe i release all new videos and all things writing and reading every thursday thank you guys again so much for watching keep writing keep reading and stay creative bye